What exactly is a short scale base? Hi people, Daniel from Devon Sons Guitars here, and I've just had this Hofner bass come in to have some work done on it. In fact, I've got a whole series of videos about that. I'll put a link in the description for you. But while it's here, I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to talk about scale length on bass guitars, particularly a short scale length bass, because this Hofner bass is a 30 inch bass, which is definitely what we would consider a short scale for a bass. So let's get over to look at this bass. Scale length is always determined by the length from the nut, or in this case, because there's a zero fret, the very top of the zero fret to the 12th fret. So if I measure that, and I'll do it in inches because that's the standard scale that we measure in, it's 15 inches. 15 inches from the top of the, tw of the zero fret to the top of the 12th fret. And that needs to be exactly half the length of the string. So we can double that and find out our scale length is 30 inches. Here we can see that from above. And what I've also got right below is a standard scale base. And what we can see there is it's 17 inches to the 12th fret, so 34 inches for a standard scale base. Now at the top here, I've also got a guitar. And if I line up my ruler with the nut and slowly move it across, you can see that when we get to the 12th fret of the guitar, it's significantly further back than the 12th fret of the short scale, which is significantly further back than the 12th fret of a standard scale, meaning the fret sizes are gonna be smaller for the guitar and larger for the standard scale than they are for the 30-inch 30 inch short scale bass. Just to explain why string length is important, I want you to imagine we've got your guitar viewed at from the side. At one end is the nut, and at the other end is the bridge and we're gonna put a string between the nut and the bridge. So that is essentially what I've just mentioned, the scale length. Now, if we tune that string to open E and you play that string, it vibrates across the whole length of the string and it vibrates at a pitch, which is E, because that's what we've tuned it to. Now, imagine you put your finger on the 12th fret and what you're doing is dividing that string exactly in half because we've set our scale length so that it's double the length from the nut to the to the 12th fret. So when you put it down, your finger down on the 12th fret and play that string, it now vibrates for the space between the 12th fret and the bridge, and it vibrates at an E again, but this time a whole octave higher than the open tuning. Now, let's imagine we've put the bridge in the wrong place, and the bridge is actually closer to the nut than it's meant to be. Now the string still goes from the nut to the bridge. It's still tuned open to E, but when you put your finger on the 12th fret, because the 12th fret is no longer in the middle, when you play your string, it's not going to sound like an E because that length isn't half of the string. Likewise, if you move your bridge backwards, so it was further away from the nut than it was meant to be, tuned your string to E, held down the 12th fret, now the space between the 12th fret and the bridge is more than half of the length of the string. So when you play it, it's also not going to sound like an E. And that is why scale length is so important. If you've got your frets spaced exactly right for a 25 and a half inch scale, and then your bridge is too close or too far away, when you play any note apart from the open string, the division of the length of the string between the bridge and where you're fretting is not correct to divide that note, that string, to vibrate at the correct note. Intonation, one of the most important things for when you're setting up your guitar or bass. Excellent, now if you're a bass player, do let me know what size scale do you prefer playing. I play bass, I used to play bass a lot in bands and perform a lot, and I had a few different basses that I played, but I never had a short scale bass. I prefer just a standard 34 inch bass scale for myself. There's all those other things to consider like neck profile, string gauges, string types. Again, I've got loads of videos on them, so do go and check them out. Until next time, happy strumming.